Greetings! Hello there, we are back, or I am back, and playing Erenev 2. It's just been released in the last few hours, and I have grabbed it to continue our playthrough. We just recently finished uh, the original Erenev, which was a fantastic map by Jigabov, and so the first opportunity I have grabbed this version, and we're going to see what it has in store for us. Um, one thing that I should make note of, or you should know, is that the um, the version we're using is the latest uh, snapshot. It's not the latest full version that's been released. This is actually a Minecraft snapshot, the latest sort of um, the latest build. It's not been released yet, so it has lots of new things in it that the full version doesn't have at the moment. That will be coming out in the next full release. Um, so there may be some bugs and stuff, I'm not entirely sure what they are, I don't even know what the new features in the latest snapshot are, only that this map is compatible with the latest snapshot apparently, so I thought we'd give it a go because the game is supposed to be better with the latest snapshot installed. So there we have it, that's just a word of warning that we may come across some unexpected behaviour or might find things that I don't even know exist in the game because they're new and I haven't played it before. So, here we are. Welcome to Erenev 2 Soul Cauldron. Please take one. Erenev 2 rules. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Let's just have a look at these first. Watch the Eat Erenev 2 release trailer before starting as it contains story elements. Okay, well what I will do is I will insert the trailer now. Erenev is my home. I would never cause it such destruction. That was all you. You had to come back. You grabbed your pitchfork like the rest of those damned moronic villagers barged your way into my mansion. The generators going offline wasn't my fault. And what's worse is that you took so damned long to turn them all on. Running around looking for your little golden trinkets when you should have just done as you were told. He came back. He is undefeatable, you know. Even if you thought you had destroyed him, he can reform in seconds. You can't win. Our only hope now lies within the Soul Cauldron. And hopefully you're back from the trailer and have seen the story elements. Uh, Erenev 1 isn't required to have been played to enjoy episode 2, however the story is enhanced if you know all the lore. It's best played on normal difficulty, if you're finding it too hard, feel free to change it to easy. However, note that it does require a mobs on for some of the puzzles to work. We are playing, I think, in normal, yep. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, so that's all of those things. Erenev three, er, sorry, Erenev two snapshot and 1.4 compatible. Yeah, we're using the snapshot version, and not 1.4. Okay, so we read the rules. What are the rules? How, how do you use books? <laughs> I don't even know how to use a book. Do you? Yeah, there you go. That's how you use books. Uh, okay, welcome to Erenev two: The Soul Cauldron, an adventure map by Jigabov. Rule book. Okay, next page. You may break, craft, build. Anything except when you see bedrock or in a room decorated with bedrock blocks. Okay, so that was different to the original game then, wasn't it? Because in that one we can only break certain blocks with certain tools. But in this one we can break, craft and build anything. Right, okay. Two, if you dig and uncover bedrock, you may cover it over so as to continue digging elsewhere. Okay. I'm not sure I understand that. If you dig and uncover bedrock, you may cover it over. So just to continue digging out. I'm sure it makes sense when we come to something. Three, the only blocks you can place in a bedrock area are non-building blocks, e.g. buttons and levers, etc. Seriously, if you can't see bedrock most of the time, you can do anything. 
Break anything, build anything, craft anything. Okay. Right. We'll hang on to that for now because I'm bound to forget the rules. What does it say over here? If you're playing a 1.4 or a snapshot, then you should be able to see a wooden button and a command block here. I can see a wooden button. And is that a command block? Not seen that block before, so I guess it is. If not, you may have to reload the map in those versions. Keep in mind the map runs perfectly in 1.3.2, but it's better in the snapshot. That's why we're playing in it. P.S. If you're on a server and nothing happens when you press that button, it means you have the command blocks off in server properties. Just set the command block to true and it will work. Also, bucket users may sh make sure nether end is enabled. Right, okay, so I guess we're going to press this button and see what happens, are we? Oh! Testing, testing. Can you hear me? If you can, command blocks are working for you. Yay! Yay indeed. Jigabov. Yay indeed. Okay. These are tutorial signs. Since there is no visible bedrock, you may break blocks. Break the floor. If you can't, make sure you are OP. We're not playing on a server, so... Ooh. That's a long way down there. Okay. Yes, this is going to take some getting used to being able to break blocks. I guess we're off. Don't think there's anything else here, was there? Whoa! <laughs> Lava is bad. Oh, got a mushroom. Yeah, it's nice. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's go. Hup. Ouch. Um, right, let's head this way, I guess. Let's see what these signs here say. These are tutorial signs. Since this room is lined with bedrock, you may not break or place any solid blocks. Okay. So, so I can't place or break blocks in this room. I can press that button though. Oh, thanks for using the snapshot version. When you see buttons like these, be sure to press them. They often contain extra NPC dialogue that reveals more of the story. Enjoy Aaron of 2. I plan on doing so. Okay, so I'm not allowed to place any blocks in here. I'm not allowed to destroy any blocks in here. What's this say down here? Reminds you of somebody you used to know. <laughs> okay. Let's have a look inside the house then. A distant memory. This is supposed to be my house from the original game. Kind of looks vaguely familiar. Oh, more signs. Potion crafting will be very important in your journey. Fire resistance is an important one. Start by crafting one now, then go in the tunnel. One, nether wart. Two, magma cream. Gunpowder to make splashable redstone dust increase strength. Okay, this could be my downfall because I have no idea about potions. I think I've played with potions once before in another map, which I was playing with Hack. Oh, we can put some music on. But, um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Because I don't know anything about potions. Um, okay, I might have to go and read up on how to make stuff. One nether wart, two magma cream. Uh, what's the gun pattern to make splashable redstone dust increase strength? What do I do then? I've got a fire. I've already got one fire resistance there. Right, nether wart, magma cream. So what do we do? We do that. Nether wart.
Let's see what that makes. Let's just listen to the music while we're waiting for this to brew. See, so yeah, I got very excited when I saw this map had been released this morning. Uh, just found it on my YouTube subscriptions that uh, he'd uploaded a map. Awkward Potion. Right, so then it was Magma Cube, wasn't it, next? So I'll plop that in there. Um, yeah, so Jigger uploaded a video to say that this is released, and I thought, well, uh, let's get straight in there. Get my Let's Play going. See how long we last before we die. I've actually got another Let's Play that I've already recorded that I haven't uploaded yet. Okay, so that's Fire Resistance for three minutes. What It said gunpowder to make it splashable. Ah, but you're really excited about this. Yeah, I was just saying, I've already got another um, Let's Play that I've already recorded. I can't remember what it was though, but that will be on the channel soon. I'll probably upload that after I've uploaded this. Um, but it was quite a short one. It's only two episodes, I think. It was a very, very short map. It was quite fun. But uh, yeah, that will be up soon after this adventure is completed. Nearly there. Nearly there. What are we going to make? We've got a splash potion of fire resistance for just 2 minutes 15. And now it's a fire resistance of 6 minutes. Okay, so that's how we make potions. Fabulous. I think, maybe. Right, so what does it have to do? Uh, start by crafting one now, then go in the tunnel. That tunnel there, I guess. I should have... Uh, I thought it was six minutes. How come I've only got five minutes? Ooh. Oh well. Anyway, here we go. That's probably not good, standing on pressure plates. Welcome to Aranev 2, the Soul Cauldron. Created by Jigarbov. For upcoming maps and more, visit youtube.com for slash Jigarbov. I hope you enjoy episode 2. Now, can I technically dest destroy the blocks in this tunnel? Because there's bedrock around, but... I'm mm, not sure. Oh, There we go. You feel yourself waking up. This is Eranev 2, the Soul Cauldron. Whoa, I can't see where I'm going. Whoa, okay. Interesting, what's through here? I'm lost. Oh! Uh, what's that? A big eye of some sort? This looks. Yeah, I've no idea where we are. This doesn't look familiar. This is not the Aranev I remember, anyway. Let's try and get down a bit quicker. Okay. Uh, there's a zombie. Okay. I could do is get away. Got no weapons. Quick, get the wood. What do you mean, who are you? You forgot my name again. Wait, you don't even know me. I'm Jarig. Where's that zombie? We've been here for quite some time already. Wait, not again. Zombies rising from lava. Run. Escape down the path. You will need wood. Take it. Okay, I'm going to try and take it. Come on, 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 come on. Am I actually on fire, or is the fire just from the fire resistance? I'm not sure. I can hear them getting closer. Yeah, there we go. Oh dear God, I'm getting... Let's get out of here. Oh my word. Goodness me. Where are we going now? It's hard to see with flames licking up around me. There it is. Home sweet home is 
right there, I think jumping down is half the fun. Geronimo. Is that all there is up here? I mean, it's a, it's a big area. How much longer have I got fire resist? Two minutes of fire resist. Yeah, I seem to be on fire still. I don't know. Oh, there we go. I'll stop now. Those zombies aren't burning to death either, which is slightly scary. I guess they've got fire resistance as well, have they? Oh dear. Okay, well let's just um let's head down, I guess. Or should we look over here first? Shall we see what there is over here? Not a lot by the look of it. I don't want to go wandering too far off at the moment. I've got a big eye there. Um Wow. Okay. <laughs> really? It should drop down. I suppose I could drop down. There it is. Home sweet home. It's right there. I think jumping down is half the fun. Down there. Is that what you See if I can make it over to there. Okay, there we go. We've got some wood. <laughs> um, secrets are everywhere. Mm -hmm. I've been here so long, I've always wanted to see grass on the floor here. Would be so much nicer. Wow. Home sweet home. Press a button or break the door down. Think outside the box. Ah oh, yes, of course, because we're not restricted in this map, are we? This is going to take some getting used to. Being able to do whatever the hell we like, essentially. See, I think I can break these blocks, but I've got nothing to break them with yet. Oh, this is going to be... Cracked bricks often hide hidden areas and passages. Yes, but I have nothing to break it with. But I can go this way. I was going to name the device after myself, but I thought that would be a bit silly. Do you feel that these dark blocks weaken you and prevent you from breaking any blocks? It stops you from placing blocks too. Weird. Hmm. I was going to name the device after myself, and I thought that would be do you feel that these dark blocks weaken you and prevent you from breaking any blocks? Okay, so it doesn't have to be a bedrock, a room lined completely with bedrock. It can just be bedrock on the walls. Is that the idea? Hmm. Hmm. Whoa, what happened there? Whoa! Where am I now? Welcome to the Erin of Two Item Collection Challenge. Some people obsess over collecting all the items in a game. This room is to feed that obsession. Only the best will be able to legitimately com complete this room, explore every nook and cranny, climb the highest heights, and fight the toughest creatures, and you'll be close to finishing this challenge. Place each item you find into the appropriate item frames, and take a screenshot of your victory and post it to the forum for all to see. Good luck! You'll need it, Jigglebob. Okay, we've got an ender chest. I do know what they are. That means you can, I can put items in this chest and access them from other ender chests, whereas normal chests can only be accessed uh, at the location where they are, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does. Ancient Poem Series, Ben's Diary Series, Area of Two Lore, Jarig's Book Series, Special Trader Plaques, Okay, I had no idea how I got here or how I get back. That's the other thing. Our story series. Darkness Descent Victory, Aaron of Two Completes, Trader's Quest Complete. Wow, there's a lot to do in this map, isn't there? Hellish Ravine, Map to f Petrified Tree, Wooden Passage, Doors to Confusion, Map to the Darkness Descent. That's what we got. All Normal Mob Eggs, Dragon Egg. Got to catch them all. Monster egg collection. So 
So what do I do with these? Oh, I probably wasn't meant to do that. Don't know. Okay. Not sure what you do with those. Emerald here. Diamond here. Oh, there's the phone. One second. <laughs> 